Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the brand new 2023 RAV4 Hybrid in the SE all-wheel drive package. So this is a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. They're going to be averaging six liters per 100 kilometers combined, which is 47 miles per gallon. They have 219 horsepower and they can tow 1,750 pounds. They're a five passenger. They are also Canada's top sold SUV. I believe it's the seventh year in a row now. So I'm gonna go over the exterior, the interior, and answer any questions you guys have. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 23 models coming out as well. Let's get started on this RAV. Here we go. All right, so starting with the exterior, this is the beautiful cavalry blue. It's a nice, kind of a creamy paint. It's not sparkly or glittery. It's nice and solid. Just has this kind of a soft tone to it which I love, it's very unique. On the SE package, you're gonna have this nice piano tile black front bumper as well in where the fog lamps would have been. Piano tile gloss along the front. Of course, you've got the blue emblem saying that it is a hybrid. Your lights up top. Down below here, again, piano tile along the edges as opposed to the matte black that's on the other RAVs. You have 19 inch painted black alloy wheels. You'll also notice you have the blue shock absorbers, which are uh, the more sporty suspension. Mud guards in the front and the rear, again with that matching piano tile black there. In the mirrors, we have the blind spot monitors. They are heated and power adjustable and they can fold front and back so if you're going on the boat for the ferry ride or the bicycle comes by and whacks it it'll move <laughs> it won't just break right off unless they really smoke it you have the proximity sensor with the push button start so you can tap to lock the whole car or grab the door handle to open nice kind of chrome accent along the top of the window there and the back windows are tinted. You do have an 8.1 inch ground clearance, nice height. One thing they don't really mention online is you have blacked out exhaust tips, which are dual, which is really neat. Again with the black along the back bumper, SE hybrid, back wiper, give you a good look of that. Shark fin antenna up top, and you have a 55 liter gas tank. This is what it looks like in the shade. Very nice in all lighting. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the interior. So starting in the hatch area in the back here, as you can see, we have your privacy cover. Very nice for hiding any valuables or keeping things cooler like groceries from the sun. We include your carpet mats. The rubber mats are installed right now. Underneath here, we have your spare tire with your tools. This floorboard does uh, re reverse <laughs> flip. So you've got this hard plastic surface, or as you can see here, you've got about a two inch, one and a half inch uh, depth that you can lower this whole floorboard down. Here we have a cigarette style charger in the back too also fold down so I'm going to go ahead and show you curl in here a little bit nice and whoop, easy to fold down it's almost level it has the slightest incline easy to get around I've had lots of people who camp in these head goes on that and <laughs> push button to close you can open and close it from the back hatch from your key fob or from the dash. So I'm going to put these back up. One thing that's not really noted online about the SC package is that it has blue stitching in the seats. 
So you can see along the headrest there, I'll try and focus, that you have this nice blue stitching and it does carry along the sides and you have a black headliner or charcoal, maybe some would call it, but very, very dark as opposed to the other RAVs, it's more of a light gray. So another sporty thing about this, cup holders in the center and armrest. You have your rubber mats that go across the whole back and the mat holder behind the passenger seat there, not on the driver's seat, their own air vents and a couple of charge ports there, fast chargers. Along the door side, soft text along the armrest. Power windows, of course. Okay. Again, power windows, mirrors, locks. Cup holder, bottle holder below. Eight-way power adjustable seat with the lumbar support for the lower back. All very adjustable. Even under your knee and in the back of the seat. Rubber mats. So I'm gonna have a seat inside move the very bright sold sign. The RAV4 is super popular for having lots of space, lots of elbow room between you and your guest. You've got your nice armrest between the both of you. Two cup holders, a couple more USB ports in there. Nice and comfy. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my foot on the brake and push button start to turn on now it's on it is very quiet as you can hear there goes the engine so it's a hybrid it will go back and forth between gas and hybrid battery as it sees fit so you'll probably hear it turn off again shortly and it will toggle between the both of them start over here with your climate control I'm going to turn it on by just pressing on the fan. It is dual zone. As you can see right now, it's synchronized to the driver's temperature. It can easily be broken by just twisting the passenger side, or if one person's driving, you can hit sync. And we'll go back to the driver's temperature there. Fan speed, direction of where you want it going, it will toggle between. If you want to cut off air to the back seats, that will help save energy, fuel in the long run. Air circulation, eco heat cool. Rear defrost also heats your mirrors. Doesn't say on there, but it does. And front defrost. Below you have traction control, heated seats, high and low for both sides. And down here, a nice area to put your phone. And there's this USB port and a cigarette style charger. A nice shift knob with the leather around. Turn this down a bit. The sun's coming out. It's pretty warm all of a sudden. It's been raining all day. Here you have an electronic park brake, so it'll come on automatically when you park and will come off automatically when you put it in drive or reverse. And this is a park brake hold. So when that feature is on, every time you come to a full stop, it will hold you and then you just use gas to release. Trail is to optimize your all-wheel drive system for off-roading, or some people use it for snow as well. Here we have Eco or Sport. As you twist this, it will also change in your dash. You can see it going from red to green along that side dial there. The Eco mode is going to be a little bit slower. It's going to uh, not put out what you're putting down, so to speak. And Sport is the opposite. If you want a little bit more get up and go, then that's the option for you. A little bit harder on gas. EV mode will use your uh, hybrid battery at parking lot speeds. Here we have your park, your reverse. So you can see what the backup camera looks like on there. It is dynamic, so it will turn with the wheel. If you can see that, shows you where you're gonna wind up, or if you wanna straighten out, you know where to go. And you also have trip tonic, so you can go down and over and change gears manually, which will pop up as S3. Now I'm just pulling down on the lever or pushing up on the lever to change gears. And this is a six speed. Put her back in 
park for now. That e-brake came back on. Up top, hazards, your vents for your air. This is the new infotainment system. So it does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you pair your phone, you can have Google Maps up on the screen. A lot of people love that. It's always up to date. There's no cords and mess laying around and you don't need to pay for map updates. It does use your data though. Here we have your large locking glove. Nice little storage spot in there. Again, with the blue stitching along the dash. This is soft text, which is really nice. And blue stitching to match along the seats, which is also really cool that it matches with the cavalry blue exterior. These are kind of a bucket seat. They hold you in spot. They're not too tough though. Like they do have some give to them. So it's not cutting off circulation to your legs by any means. Couple cup holders there up top. We have your rear view mirror and higher up. We have your sunglasses holder, SOS system. So you can call fire truck, ambulance, police, and it has stolen vehicle locator in it. Here we have the options for your sunroof, whether you want it to be full back. These clouds are very pretty today. Or this guy here is going to pop the back. Whew. You also have rain sensing wipers. So if you want, you can set those in line with auto. Sorry, I forgot to mention you have a manual cover in case it's too bright. SOS systems that you've got your lights that come on when you open the doors and come off when you close. Up here you have your sun guards, I love those, and your mirrors with the little light that come on. Check your teeth and your makeup. Here we have your leather wrapped heated steering wheel. So that you can turn on just down here, heated wheel, power back hatch. You can open and close it from there. Windshield de-icer, so that will heat the physical glass along the bottom of the windshield there. Automatic high beams will come on automatically uh, and turn off with oncoming lights or tail lights. And this is a dimmer, it's a little scroll. That's just a icon for the dash. So if you want to dim it or make it brighter. And here, this lever will release your steering wheel so you can scope it towards yourself, away, down, up. All very adjustable. Auto lights, of course. And your display. You have a million different things you can have shown on the screen. So, like I mentioned earlier, this will average 6 liters per 100 kilometers combined. As you can see, it's only 5 kilometers old, so it hasn't been driven. So this is going to be wrong um but that being said there are so many different displays you can have up on there you can have your lane departure alert your compass music so whatever's playing trip distances your hybrid system so you can see when you're using battery when you're storing battery and when you're using gas and your all-wheel drive system so you can see how much traction each tire is carrying your safety settings you can turn on or off. So you have lane trace assist, pre-collision system, detect cyclists, pedestrians, and vehicles. Blind spot monitors, I'll turn it off and then on. That's what that looks like in the mirror, those two little orange cars passing each other. So you'll know not to move over when that's lit up because it means there's a car directly in your blind spot. RCTA is rear cross traffic alert. So if you're backing up and someone comes behind you, it will beep. It's a motion detector, not a proximity sensor. So if you're gonna back up into a wall, it's gonna let you back up into a wall. Vehicle settings too. So you can go deeper into these menus. You can adjust the height of your hatch. So if you're in a low garage and you don't want your hatch to hit the ceiling, you can do that. You can turn on or off the rear seat reminder, which is for if you have kids or dogs and every time you turn off the car, it'll pop up on the screen saying, check rear seat. So sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's annoying. Depends on if you 
forgetting anything in the back. Back up out of there. And you can even change things like kilometers to miles in your deeper vehicle settings. Uh, warning messages, eco scores, everything is in there, very handy. It's so even an energy tachometer over here. So as you're driving, you can see just like that other hybrid system I showed on there, when you're using battery, storing battery, and when you're using gas. This is where you're gonna have your cruise control. This activates, sets, and this determines the distance between you and the car in front of you. There's three different settings for that. Lane departure alert, you can turn on and off very easily. You can see the icon in the top left corner there. I'm gonna turn it off and then on. So that over 50 kilometers an hour will help. If you're drifting over line, it will beep and redirect you. Then we have, yeah, your cruise. Mode will toggle between your AM, FM, and Bluetooth. And this will be for presets volume over here and then you have a talk button so you can say things like call Elizabeth or uh, you can use it for find nearby Italian restaurant that kind of a thing when you're hooked up to your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and answering and hanging up phone calls otherwise these buttons go through the display very safe vehicle there are airbags there here here, there, very safe. Nice quarter windows too for visibility. Even has handles for getting in and out. Up here you have a mic, so it's not uh, trying to hear you from way over on the other side. So that is the beautiful interior of the SE Hybrid RAV4. All right, so what did you guys think of the new 2023 RAV4 Hybrid in the SE all-wheel drive package? I'd love to hear your thoughts or any of your questions in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 23 models coming out as well. Until next time, take care.